Hey everybody, this is Adam, and the video you're about to watch is a part of a series. Now you can watch that entire series for free over at cadjunkie.com with our free seven-day subscription. It is a no-brainer. I definitely recommend you check that out. All right, enjoy. So here's one more little bonus tip for you as you're getting started. As you play around with this, I want you to realize that the power of SOLIDWORKS is that we can make changes to things anytime we want to. This is, this is huge. So we've modeled this, and we've put together our entire assembly, but let's say I want to make some dimensional changes to this. Let's go ahead and open up this original part. I'll just right-click it, head up to Open Part, and now I have my plank in its own window. And I want to make some dimensional changes here. Now, without getting into features and stuff too much, we're going to cover that later. There's this thing up here in our toolbar called Instant 3D. And I have that enabled right now, which means that SOLIDWORKS is going to try to be really smart and make it easy to make changes really quickly. So for example, if I want to make this a little thicker, if I click this top face, I want you to notice that there is a green arrow sticking out of this surface, just coming straight out of it. If I click that and drag it, look at that. I can just change this in and out to really easily change the thickness of my extrusion. And you can see that it's changing the numeric dimension as well. I can also double click that and set a different numeric dimension, like 3 millimeters. Enter. It's not going to update by default. We have to come up here and click this green rebuild button but then it'll give us our three millimeters. Now if I click on a different face like this one, the arrow trick won't work because uh, we have dimensions defining where this thing is. However, if I look at this dimension, it's set to 100.79 right now. If I drag the blue dot to the right of that, I can interactively change that dimension. Or I can click the dimension, change it to say 50, and it just changes. Or I can double click it again, we'll change that to 100 again, and enter and it just changes. Really, really simple stuff. Also, if I want to change the radius of this guy, once again, I can drag this blue dot to change that radius. Or I can click in the viewport and type, uh, I don't know, 15, and uh, hit my rebuild button, and everything goes to being 15 millimeters. So, this is very, very cool stuff. Let's say we want to make this, I don't know, quite a bit shorter. Let's grab this and just go down to like 65. That looks pretty good. Close this up, save it, and back in our assembly, look at that. The change has been updated in real time, and we see that uh, in our final assembly. I could also take this piece down here, edit in context, right? So I'm still looking at my assembly. Click on a face, drag it out. You see everything changes in real time, and my whole assembly updates to reflect that change. Very, very cool stuff. Very fast, very powerful. I definitely recommend messing around with that. It's going to break some things, by the way. When you do this, stuff's going to break. Stuff's not going to work the way you expected. That's totally fine. Just mess with it, break it, learn from it, and over time, we're going to pick up how exactly to make this thing work every single time. All right. Have fun.